Today I'm going to build an antenna. It's a very common antenna in just about every U.S. military antenna book, antenna handbook, antenna build book, you name it, it's in all of them. It's the TEFV antenna. What is the TEFV? Terminated Infed V antenna. What this antenna is, is basically a, an, an, an inverted V antenna that's infed, uh, but we're going to use a terminating resistor at one end to make it directional. Um, and this terminating resistor also, I'm going to put a counterpoise and bring it back to complete the circuit. And this will also make it broadband. This thing will have, should have a pretty good SWR from all bands. If I want to use it to the 80 meter band all the way to the six meter band, I prim primarily want to use this thing on the 10 meter band because today is the American Radio Relay League's uh, 10 meter contest. So what is it? It's it, the TEFV, terminated in-fed antenna. It is a in-fed uh, inverted V antenna. Uh, we can call it a half rhombic antenna. In a sense, this is really almost identical to what I recently b tried to build. It, was, it, it came, it worked out, but uh, boy, it wasn't pretty. A, a rhombic antenna. This is just taking the rhombic, taking one side off and using the counterpoise in the ground as the mirror to mirror a rhombic antenna that's vertical. So it should have some pretty good uh, uh, DX characteristics on the higher bands, like 10 especially. Uh, they're very low takeoff angle. As you get to the uh, lower bands, it turns more into an Envis antenna, but I'm gonna build it using uh, some stuff I've used on other antennas lately. I've got a Palomar Engineers 12 to one Ballon, and I also have a Palomar Engineers 600 ohm terminating resistor. Now, one publication that I found a, a, a government a military uh, antenna publication specifically mentions 12 to one Ballon and 600 ohm uh, terminating resistor. So this antenna has been built before by the military and deployed by the U.S. military as an HF antenna. I'm going to get it up and uh, maybe do some DXing with it. I'm in a field. I have a field here. If you haven't seen any of my recent videos, there's a there was a school that was torn down here in the city of Portsmouth, Virginia, and the land that it was on is just a, a major piece of land. It's big, a very wide open space. It's not a park, so there's nobody here. And I've been driving right out on it and building antennas, so I've been very fortunate. Uh, no one said anything yet, but I'm going to build it out here on this big piece of land. And uh, because it's a pretty long antenna, I'm going to use uh, a 100 foot piece of wire as the V. So 50 feet up, 50 feet down. And then coming back, I'll use wire all the way back to the balance. So it should be, I don't know, 85, 90 uh, feet of, uh, of uh, wire. So we're talking about a 30, uh, all together, a 30 meter long uh, wire. That's uh, the, the element on top, the V. That's it. Let me get it built and then I'll show you the antenna and we'll jump back here in my Jeep and uh, try to make some contacts. Stick around. Okay, here's the antenna. It's up. Got a short piece of, uh, I think, about five meter or 17 foot coax going down here to that uh, 12 to 1 ballon. That's the Palomar Engineers. 12 to 1 balance. You see the counterpoise on the bottom and the first leg up 50 feet of 20 gauge wire to about 25, maybe a little 26 feet up in the air on the pole. We'll get down here and look at it. And uh, yeah, I didn't go all as high up on the pole this time as I did with my uh, rhombic because I, <laughs> I wanted to keep it straight. It looks like I did an okay job of doing that. But uh, there we go, coming back down. This is the uh, DX Commander uh, Expedition, 10 meter expedition pole. And as we can see, the counterpoise wire coming over here. Another slip up, about 50 feet up, and then 50 feet back down, slanted into the terminating resistor, the 600 ohm terminating resistor. It's about a meter long piece of uh, PVC pipe that I have it taped to and driven in the ground. There you go, this early morning. There's the antenna, my TEFV, terminated in fed 
ver, V beam, a v, v antenna, inverted V. Jeez, there's a lot of words there. An inverted V terminated with a counterpoise back to the 12 to one. That's it, that's the antenna. And uh, let's go inside and see if this thing is as broadband as it says it is. I'm a little curious how that's gonna look, but how it's gonna look on the uh, analyzer when we analyze it, but pretty cool. That's it. And you can see up here, there's a little bit of a curve on the, uh, on the pole, but pretty solid. All right, let's go get in the Jeep. I'm cold. Look at that, baby, I love it. Uh, that's what I was shooting for. And the way it modeled out, SWR wise. So um, yeah, anything, I'm going to definitely use the tuner on the rig to bring it down perfect. But that is very, very tunable and very, very awesome. I love it. All right, let's get the rig hooked up. And as I have the heater running here and warm up in the Jeep, I'm using my Yesu FT710 and look at the waterfall in 10 meters already. This is gonna be fun. I will check other bands, but I really wanna get going first on the 10 meter band. Uh, looking out at the antenna, one other thing I wanted to say is I am uh, aiming at 80 degrees, 80 degrees, a little farther east and southeast than, uh, than I usually do aiming at Europe. I'm thinking, uh, looking at the, um, looking at the, at the uh, plot of this thing, it kind of has you know, out on angles off of that other wire. Uh, so it's not a direct beam. And I'm thinking this way, I could hit Europe on once on the, over to the left here, and over to the right, maybe across the mid, maybe Northern Africa. You might see that here in the contest. Kind of some rare DX there is what I'm thinking. But there you go. And there it is. Look at that waterfall. Let's get on here and play a little uh, ARRL 10 meter contest uh, ham radio this morning. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yes, you are five nine, Victor Alpha, Virginia. Okay, Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Five zero seven, good luck. You are that. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. You are five nine one eight three. You are five nine, Victor Alpha, Virginia. Okay, Kilo four, Ocean Golf, Ocean. Five nine four four four. QSL, you're 59 Victor Alpha, Virginia. Thank you. Echo Delta, 5 India. Kilo 4, Oscar, Germany, Oscar. You're 59480. You are 59 Victor Alpha, Virginia. Thanks. You are Z, India, India 9 Papa. Uh, kilo 4, uh, 4, Oscar, go Oscar, Roger. For you, 59340. You are 59 Victor Alpha, Virginia. Virginia, good luck. Let's take one for six. United, radio start. Ontario, go for Ontario. You're 59187. You are 59 Victor Alpha, Virginia. Victor Alpha, thank you. QRZ, Florida, 4 Italy, Victor Victor. Good luck, 73. Sugar Alpha, 0 India Alpha, Tango, Cutter. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 59, 1, 2, 1. Okay, I can bang into Europe all day long and play contest radio, but I want to go try the other bands. This is a good weekend, maybe 12, 12 and 17. The uh, work bands usually on contest weekends are fun, and you can find some interesting DX there. So let's go to have a look. I'm going to um, move down to the 12 meter band. Yes, Roger Walter, no problem. No, very good. Mm, copy. Um, my location in North Coast, uh, Sicily Island, um, and um, the Tirreno Beach, Mediterranean. And uh, today is a beautiful day. Okay. All right, uh, thank you for the uh, uh, report. You have five and one to you. Uh, nice to hear from you, and I wish you a happy holiday and Merry Christmas. All righty, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Thank you for the 5 3 to Virginia. I got you 5 1, Massachusetts. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Good morning, all good day. Yeah, yeah, 5 5, and go to the state park. Hey, Roger that. You're at my spot. <laughs> I'm over in Portsmouth. We're real close, so this is definitely a ground wave signal. I'm uh, portable over in, uh, in the Portsmouth there. And check this out, six meters. I don't even need a tuner, man. It is perfect SWR on six meter band. This might be the, the antenna for six when six is open. Let's give it a shot. I'll show you. Check out the SWR. Hello, CQ, CQ, CQ on six meters, CQ on six meters. This is K4 OGO, kilowatt four Oscar Golf Oscar, standing by and listening for any calls and calling CQ. Uh, there's no one on six, but wow, how cool is that?
I really enjoyed that antenna. That was fun. That was not too hard to build either. And um, what a, uh, I mean, it was a monster on 10. I've got just pages of, uh, you know, 5.9 Victor Alpha. I, I could have gone all day. And it was all in that direction, kind of more south. Um, I was having trouble in the UK, and I don't think that was so much the antenna as band conditions as uh, 10 may have been uh, fading away. Uh, Spain, Spain all day long, Italy all day long, which is going. Um, did jump over on 12, make DX contacts there, there DX on, on 15. 14, um, made some kind of prototype stuff and did that. Uh, 40 uh, as well. 40 was cool because I made a contact on 40 meters. Uh, the guy was at uh, First Landing State Park, US 1299. I, why do I know that? That's the beach I'm always on. Um, if you are subscribed to my channel and you say, uh, when I'm out there, I'm saying, hey, this is the Chesapeake Bay feeding out into the Atlantic Ocean. He was in my spot. It was kind of cool. And uh, that was definitely, I don't, that was not an Invis contact because uh, he is probably 10 miles away. So it was a ground, just boom, straight over to him. But hey, it's kind of what that antenna is made for. If it's a battlefield military antenna, uh, that's the kind of contact you want to make uh, 10 miles away, you know, on, on you know, on HF. Uh, but DX antenna for sure on 10. Just enjoyed it. It was, it was really a cool build and uh, something that I wanted to do. Um, another antenna with the terminate, termination resistor and, uh, you know, in the 12 to 1 balance. So I've built uh, quite a few now with that. Let's see, I did the... Uh, the um, the V beam antenna, which similar to that, uh, I did the uh, the rhombic with it, and now this um, this um, we'll we'll call it a half rhombic antenna. It was it was pretty cool, but uh, all in all, that was it was cool, and um, it works on every band, including as you saw um, the one of my favorite bands. Let's just leave it at that. Um, the eleven meter band. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's getting starting to get cold. It's getting close to Christmas time. Um, I have been off work for a few weeks, uh, and I've really enjoyed it. And you've seen me play with some antennas. I had a bucket list of antennas I wanted to get built, and this was one of them. Uh, as we are getting into the Christmas season, uh, I've got some stuff, some radios back in the house, in the home QTH that I want to play with. You'll see me inside there doing that as well. But um, if you're not a subscriber and you want to keep up with what's going on with the channel, please, uh, please subscribe. I, I like I, I say this a lot of videos, but um, I, I look at my, um, you know, what's going on with the channel and I get a lot of views from people that just aren't subscribers. So I'm, I don't know, maybe maybe they don't like me that don't want to subscribe. That's fine as well. But um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you see you again on a video before um, before the Christmas uh, day comes. But if not, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And uh, until next time, I'm Salty Walt K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.